Okay, for project two, I drew my dog. She's a Bernese mountain dog, about a hundred pounds. So she's pretty big for a female as well. Um, I use this picture as kind of inspo. Obviously it's not the exact same, but she's definitely like tilted up and she's standing, but um, just as inspo. And if I turn off all my layers, I'll show you how I did it. Um, I'm to be honest, not super consistent in my layers. As you can see, like I have some black here, the nose, and then I have just like random places of black because sometimes I'll go in and realize I didn't color an area. We're learning, um, so that's okay. And then I drew this, really liked it. So I ended up copying it and then flipping it. And I changed the eye up a little bit and then I changed I kept this eyebrow so it's a little bit higher just because she's not super symmetrical. And then obviously I erased the side of it because I don't want it to be identical as the other side, but I didn't want to do as much work again that I did not need to. Um, oh, I guess I could show you my sketch too. And this was my sketch before. But as you can see, I thought I was pretty successful in it and I thought it turned out really well. I would say that was, I used this hairbrush just before and to be honest, I'm just not good at them and I don't really like them too much. And I found that was the most successful for me is if I went in and like scribbled in an area with a complementary color, like maybe three shades away and take my smudge brush and just like flicked it. And that's like what I did here. It's what I did on the sides and I would blend it in. And I used a lot more highlighting or shadowing. So I would use every color I had. I probably had like three or four different shades of it and would just kind of blend it in to make it look like there was more dimension to the picture. And yeah, I think I was pretty successful. Thank you.